All right. So hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, sorry, I'll try to make sure you guys can see me while I was talking too. <laughs> So today we're talking about uh, mastering payment collection for forms and uh, best practices and case studies with taking payments with forms. So uh, presenting, you have me from the Hagov side. Um, I, I'm a Hagov specialist on the digital transformation team. My name is Megan Myrick, and I also have some guest speakers with me. I have Brandy Strange. She's a city clerk at the city of High Shoals in North Carolina. And I also have Lori Barron, who is a records clerk from the village of South Amherst and in Ohio. So um, I want to thank them for helping me out with this. And um, we'll hear from them in a bit. First off, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview about what hay license is, since that's what we're talking about today. So Hay License is a comprehensive licensing and permitting platform is specifically designed for municipal administrations. It offers efficient workflow management and embedded payment functionality so that you can take those payments with the permits and licenses. It simplifies the processes. It, um, you're able to have customizable forms and it has e-signature capabilities. It, significantly enhances the efficiency and effectiveness of municipal services and operations. So here's a few helpful features that Hay License has that makes the process even better. So I touched on this, but it does have workflow management. So that means that you're able to assign tasks within the form to different departments and they can check off on those tasks. So this is a um, for a building permit and we can see that the, we have the building department assigned to two different tasks. Um, they have to enter in some project information and also um, check off on an inspector check. Um, and then the last department is the administration department, and they just have a little office use only section to fill out. And um, if you look to the right on the status, you can see that everybody has actually already approved their sections. So that's really handy. It lets everybody um, who needs to enter in some information about the permit or license or approve a section do it without you having to actually take the um, form over to them, email them, it just automatically sends it to them and lets them fill in their information. It also has review steps um, and these are customizable. So if there's any information that does need to be enter entered in by those departments, um, you have a section where they can enter in it, enter it in, it in. <laughs> keep getting tongue tied. Um, but again, these are completely customizable and whatever information you need can be asked. Um, we can also have a signature field there so that they can just sign off that they are approving that section. You can also request, request for answers to be changed. Um, we know that people always fill out forms 100% correct every time. No, they, they don't. <laughs> and because of that, it's helpful to have a feature where you don't have to call them or email them or have them completely fill out the form again. Um, you can just send over a request for the answer to be changed. Like here, it's a tax key number. It's not showing up in the system. They're gonna send this request over and that resident's gonna get an email and an app notification letting them know that they need to update that answer. You can also add in internal notes. So if there's any information that you want other um, city staff, other departments to know, um, you can enter in that information and it's going to save in um, the application timeline, which I'll show you in a second. And you could also send messages to the applicant and they get an email and app notification if you want to just let them give them more information, let them know of any delays, anything like that. Um, so here, this was the same one where they asked for a request for the tax key number to be changed and they're just letting them know, hey, if you have any questions about where to find the correct information, please call. And here's the application timeline. This tracks everything that's going on in the form from the time that the application started, um, when payments taken, um, departments checking off on um, their sections, if any answers are requested to be changed, if you add any notes, um, send any messages, and the, when the application's approved, it keeps up with all of that. It's really nice for um, record keeping. Hey, I gonna save you hours of your time every month by helping you do less busy work. 
So let's hear from Lori and Brandy about how they use HeyGov and HeyLicense. So maybe we can start off with uh, Lori since she already has her camera and mic on. Um, yeah, so do you care just to share a little bit about your experience? Um, okay, so the one thing we really use is for permitting because we don't do any licensing within our village. Um, we're only 1,500 people, so we're at the small end of what HeyGov helps us with. Yeah. Um, our building department, I am the building clerk, so I normally see permits when they first come in. And we have it built so I can approve anything that's rather easy, say as roof siding permits, if it's a replacement, HVAC. If anything has to have diagrams, plans, say additions, um, new construction, things like that, our building inspector needs it. Although our building inspector is technically a subcontractor and he does not work out of village offices, he works for another company. So that was one thing HeyGov helped us. How can we go about making sure he can also see the permits as they're coming in and he approves what he needs to? Because there are certain things that have to be stamped by him that follow the state of Ohio building code. So if you haven't done anything yet, Atanas, um, who is actually in another country. He is awesome to work with. He will even, um, you know, he sends you emails any time of the day, it seems like. And he <laughs> will also do little videos to help walk you through, you know, progressions and stuff and how you can work through um, customization that you need because each municipality is going to be different in what they require. So our building inspector needed to be able to go in and stamp, you know, any of the plans, diagrams, and write notes if they needed to be changed. So Atanas helped us with that in order to meet state requirements and what needed to be done. Um, well, that's it for right now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And um, I think Brandy is having a little bit of issues with her camera, but is your mic working, Brandy? Yes, my mic is working. My dog bit my laptop, so the camera is not working. Oh, no. That's awful. That's completely doggy fine. Doggy <laughs> Completely understand that. I've had dogs in the past that were the same way. <laughs> Thankfully, my current um, dog doesn't like to eat laptops. So. <laughs> But the pit doesn't right. eat anything, the shepherd does. <laughs> hilarious. Brandy, maybe you could share a little bit about your experience with HeyGov and how you use it. So well, like Lori, we're super small. We're only like 600 residents. Mm -hmm. So instead of like the permits and licenses, we kind of like structured it with Antonis. Like we got like the Christmas parade form, auto draft, where they can sign up online, um, the rentals for the ball field, or right. the city hall, um, payment extension requests, dump truck rental requests, and utility services for when people want to sign up so we can do it, everything streamlined online. Um, yeah. And we just had a 50 year anniversary, so we had the vendor application sign up. Um, and like Lori said, Atonis is awesome. If I don't understand something and my husband doesn't have time to help me, Atonis is on it. Because we use the Hay License, the Hay 311, the Hay Reserve, and the HeyGov Pay. And it is amazing and a time saver. Awesome. I'm glad that you both have great experiences with Atonis. We really <laughs> wish that we could clone him because we honestly need a couple more of him. <laughs> yes. Um, we love him over here at, on the HeyGov side too. Um, he's great. Um, maybe one of you could just walk me through um, your process from the time that you get an application in until it's approved. 
Okay, I can start. Um, first thing with the permits would get a notification through email to say, hey, you have a permit, whether it's for building, zoning, actually our water department or park pavilion. So mm -hmm. I would then, you can get to it by just clicking on the email or going to your actual um, dashboard for HeyGov, which I prefer to do. Um, so I can see a lot more. I'll go through on a building permit. If it's something easy, I can just go in, click on the form, see that they have all the information that I need. And then if I'm going to approve it, I put in like the permit number, the fee and do my signature, then you go back up to the top and hit approved. It asks you why you're approving it. Um, and you list your explanation, which I just usually put all information is correct and means, right. you know, whatever. <laughs> um, then send a payment request out to them. And that is such a nice feature because we've really cut down um, on the number of people who have to come into town hall, especially contractors who aren't necessarily in the village or nearby. They can just charge it. It's done. I mean, this can all be done within less than 10 minutes, which is a definite time saver. And I will say, um, when we were putting through all our permits, we um, listened to the people at HeyGov and we actually increased the amount for our park pavilion. And I'm like, no, people aren't gonna <coughs> go for an increase in cost. And it actually worked out in our favor and for the people who are doing the park, that was another thing because I have to go do those permits too. Right. Um, done in like three minutes. So, awesome. you know, and it gets back to the customer. It is cut down mm -hmm. on paper. Although for building permits, things like that, we do still print paper copies right. just because of state audit purposes. Right. We yeah. gotta have that but it is a definite time saver all around. Awesome. And Brandy, maybe you could share um, how long it took you to get set up with HeyGov and um, what that process was like. It literally only took like two days to get completely set up um, mm -hmm. with a lot of help from Antonis and a lot of help from my husband because I'm <laughs> dumb when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> um, but Antonis would actually send me videos of how to set everything up. And if I had a question, he'd fire back with a response or make a video for my husband to watch. And um, <laughs> it's really cool, too, the feature, because our HeyGov coincides with our website. Because mm -hmm. we have town, um, town web. Mm -hmm. And, yep. like, I always have my HeyGov app up. And it shows the news that's on the website. It shows like our issues in the city. It is super user friendly. We have a lot of older residents between 70 to 95 years old that can go online and it walks them through each step. And I think that's the easiest part because nice. they understand it and it lays yeah. it out for them where they get it. And how did you guys get people to start using the um, online services to start using HeyGov? Putting notices on um, the town web website mm -hmm. and just even on our um, Facebook social media and just talking about it amongst yeah. people. So, Brandy, did y'all do anything? I printed it on the water bills every month. Sorry. Um, why is ripping their dog outside? Um, printed on their water bills, um, put mm -hmm. it on the website and the sign outside of City Hall and the QR awesome. code. Yeah. And how long did it take you guys to um, get used to the HeyGov interface, like how to use it? 20 minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, not long at all. Yeah, it's super awesome. user friendly. And um, maybe, oh, sorry. I think uh, Brandy had a dog barking in the background, so she had to cut her mic off. Um, and maybe you could touch on, maybe you've already spoken to it, but um, the support, kind of how that works. Um, the support is really easy. Just sending an email off and I don't know. <laughs> How long does it usually take you to get a response from support on average? Now, see, though, I haven't had to use support since we first started. And when I was oh, just okay. looking back at some emails, that's been a year ago. Wow. So, and I mean, we had a lot going on just because of what we required in right. the forms. So that's what I mean. Atanas and I, we would be going back multiple times a day and it was within sometimes five minutes I could get an answer. Sometimes a little longer because of the time difference, but, um, you know, always had an answer. And like Brandy said, those videos he would do up were awesome. So... Well, I'm glad I'm gonna have to give a to watch this. He's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, did you have any other comments you wanted to make or um, anything you wanted to speak to? Well, I'm constantly adding new stuff. I'm the only person in City Hall. So when something comes up, I'm like, oh, I should add that. So <laughs> then I'll get with Antonis and ask him. It's like, I started it, but I don't know how to finish it. So he'll either complete it for me or give me a video to finish it. <laughs> Or like we integrated my um, billing software for utilities into huh. like the Hague of pay. And he, I changed the form structure because the software company didn't tell me what they used. And within like three minutes, he had it fixed. And I'm like, awesome. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you both had um, great experiences with Atanas and Hague of in general. And uh, that is helping you guys out and helping you save time. Um, and again, I appreciate appreciate you guys for um, helping me do this. And now I'm just going to do a quick recap of what we've talked about. Then we can go into the question and answer session if anybody has any questions. One second. Thank you. All right. So for a quick recap, just um, overview of pay license again. Um, it does, it has a built in workflow so you can add in um, departments that need to check off on um, different sections of an application and it does have e signature integration. Um, they're customizable forms as, you, as you've heard uh, Lori and uh, Brandy talk about, we'll, we'll build your forms exactly to what specifications you need. Usually we take a PDF copy of the form you already have and build it from that and then we'll make any adjustments that you'd like. Um, and we can also help, help you build it a whole new form if you need. Um, and we have user-friendly interfaces and online payments built in as well. Uh, it's a secure, scalable platform that's good for multi-department use. And um, it allows for citizen engagement and automated communication. So you have to do less of those phone calls and less people coming in to a uh, town hall. <laughs> feel free to drop them in chat or into that question and answer box. And we'll give you a minute to um, think of some questions to put in. Um, and while you're thinking of some questions, I'm going to go over some of our other apps we have. Um, I think you mentioned, uh, Brandy had mentioned HeyGov Pay. That's our app that allows you to have online and in-person payments. Um, Hey, license is what we're talking about today with the online uh, licensing and permitting with workflows. And it can also just be used for online forms. Brandy had talked about this, but they have like some just like Christmas form. Like I, I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but you can do like donation forms, uh, signups for sports. Oh, here's Brandy. Oh, what was um, like dump, dump truck rental, um, yeah. facility rentals. Like we had the vendor applications, the parade form application, um, yeah. and utility service application. Yeah, so there's a bunch of things outside of just like licensing and permitting that you can do with Hay License. Um, and then we have Hay Reserve for those facility re rentals. It does have an online availability calendar. 
um, and online forms and online payments built in as well. And then we have Pay Through in One, our citizen reporting app. Um, this allows residents to send any issues, questions, um, comments they want to make instead of having to call you and tell you or ask you the questions. They just send it in through the portal and it has two-way communication so you can reply to them, let them know of any needed information or just say that you're working on it. Oh, can I also say too with the forms and permit with the licenses and permits, if you get the HeyGov Pay too, you can interconnect them to where it actually sends you straight to the payment, or you can request the payment after it's been approved. Yeah, it does. It, um, our apps can connect together, and um, they work nicely. All of the payment information from Hey License and Hey Reserve also feeds into HeyGov Pay, so that you can export all that information out. We connect. We can connect it with your accounting software. Um, you have a lot of control over the information that's um, in HeyGov. And you can also refund payments directly through HeyGov and um, uh, print and view receipts as well. So I see that we had a question come in about integrating with Cassell and Civic Systems. We can do a, um, we have a file swap integration with them. So um, if, so you can export that accounting information out and import it into their software and not have to manually enter it in. And I will say too, that y'all were really good at integrating with people y'all haven't integrated with before. Cause I know when I started, um, y'all did not integrate with Southern Software FMS and yep. Atana's had that integrated within like three days. Yes, we can build new work in the software company. Yeah, we can build uh, new integrations for any um, accounting software that we don't currently integrate with, and we're always willing to do that. All right, do we have any other questions? I'll give you guys another minute or two to get some questions in. Um, and I do have another webinar coming up at the end of the month. If you would like to come to that, it's about um, online property tax payments with HeyGov. Um, it's November 30th at 11 a.m. Central Time. If you'd like an invite to that, you can just email us or keep an eye out on our website. It'll be listed there for you to be able to register as well. I'll go ahead and pull up my contact information. Um, we'll send you Lori and Brandy's contact information in our follow-up email with the recording. So if you want to reach out to them and ask any clerk-related questions or usage questions, how they use it, feel free to reach out. Um, they're very kind and will answer any questions you have. <laughs> and also, are y'all still working on the minutes? Because I know oh, yes. Thomas had said something oh. about that. Yes, and we actually, we do have um, a new app called Clerk Minutes that we're rolling out. Um, it generates um, it generates minutes from you uploading your agenda and either a video or audio recording of um, your board meetings or any meetings you have. Um, and you'll actually AI generate the minutes for you. And we just actually had a big update that we're about to roll out. Um, that's going to be even better. Um, but yeah, if anybody's wanting to try that out, you can also um, send a message in chat and I can get you set up with that. Um, but that is our newest app and it's still in beta testing right now, but soon we'll be ro rolling out the full, full um, application. When's I that going to be rolled out? Because I was helping with the beta, but because how extensive our council wants our minutes, it just. I think um, the new version is going to be rolled out to beta, current beta testers um, I th within a week. And then oh. we're going to roll it out um, for like the full application where we're selling it at the beginning of the year, as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good. So I'm excited for you to try that. It's um, yes. I saw a little sneak peek of it and it looked amazing. All right. Well, okay. if anybody has any other questions, feel free to um, send an email. You will get a follow up email. Feel free to reply to that or um, send me Lori or Brandy an email personally. Um, I appreciate all of you for your time and for coming. And I appreciate Lori and Brandy for helping me out with this. It, people would much You're rather welcome. hear from your, your experiences than me just talk about it. <laughs> so thank you a lot. And um, like I said, thank you everybody for your time, taking the time out to um, watch this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye.
Thank you. Have a good Bye. week. Bye. Bye. Bye.